Hey there, this is Eddie here with another video about Pi Network. Before anything else, make sure you share this video and don't forget to turn on the notification at all. So that way you don't miss my information and the most important facts about Pi Network. Today I have great news because the, the wallets, the Pi wallets are here and I'm not sure how many members are there, but uh, the last time I checked, there were 7,500 members the ones that are running the nodes, they're testing all the wallets at this point. So I have a couple of screenshots of all these members who are already exchanging it. This Pi that they're using at this point is just for test. Um, it's not actually a real Pi that they can transfer to buy goods or services. And only 100 Pi is given to these members that are running the nodes and they have all the requirements to start using it. So Nicholas, the main founder of Pi Network, he mentioned, uh, he answered one of those members on Pi Chat. Do not worry too much because probably in the next couple of months, that uh, VOT, they're not gonna use VOT anymore to verify pioneers. So do not worry about this. You don't have to download VOT. And because remember, it's only 100,000 out of the 13 million pioneers. So you have, you have to be extremely lucky to get it. So that is one of the reasons. Now let's change subject. Uh, recently, someone asked me, um, there's a misunderstanding out there that they think if they open one account and they open five more accounts with different phone numbers they, they can create with this app. I'm not sure how they do it. They think that just by adding those numbers to your account, to your earning team, they can raise the pie per hour. So that way at the end, you'll have more pie in your account. And they think, oh, how are they going to find out that those other four or five accounts, duplicate accounts, how, do they, how will they know that those are fake? And I told them, okay, one thing that you don't understand is each account he added to his earning team, those four or five accounts, they must pass KYC. How is this person going to be able to verify each account? If somebody is the owner of that account, it's going to be impossible. And another thing, a person who does this kind of stuff, he's going to get all of his accounts, even the one that is a legit one deleted. So at the end, if this person or these members are mining with 20 different accounts, and they think that they're going to be able to transfer all pie to the main net, they are wrong it's not gonna happen it's impossible to happen so make sure you understand this if you have one account and you open an, a different account with a different number and you add it to your earning team somebody has to prove that the other account is a real human and how are you going to be able to verify that with your t or with a different method that that account is a legit one it's impossible unless you have multiple uh, IDs. And But remember, an ID must be a real ID so you can be able to verify. Because no, I don't think they can, Yoti or the different method, I don't think they can verify an account if it's like a fake ID. I'm not sure if they're gonna be able to, to do something like that, but it's almost impossible. So understand this. If you have multiple accounts at the end, you're going to lose your account and of course the other one. So that is not a good idea to do. So make sure you play by the rules, one account per person and do not try to cheat because I've seen people that they got their pie all burned. So and the, the account is gone and then they're complaining because these members had like 300 pioneers in their earning team. I'm assuming some of those accounts were not legit. So that's exactly what happens when you try to cheat the system. So play by the rules and let's do this correctly. So at the end, we all can benefit from Pi Network. So I'm gonna end up the video here. 
I hope you have a great day. I'll see you in my next one.